everyone, my name is Maxine Jean and I want to talk to you about my paper called Improvement of Key Agronomic Trait in Soybean through Genomic Prediction of Superior Crosses. The main goal of our work was to help breeder uh, create new cultivar more efficiently because creating a new cultivar takes a lot of resources. Hundreds of crosses are made and field tested each year, and they have to undergo a selection cycle. So field testing for several years before you are able to identify superior progeny that contain line that are good enough to become new cultivar. And only a few of all those crosses will produce superior progeny. So this happens because the breeder has no way to know in advance which um, crosses will produce a superior progeny. However, there's a new tool called genomic prediction that could help breeder identify promising crosses without having to do any field testing. In this approach, you use the genetic makeup of the parent to feed information into a prediction model. And this model then predicts the performance of the progeny. So using this approach, a breeder could easily evaluate several thousand of crosses and using the prediction, it could then identify the most promising one and only make and field test those crosses. However, before using um, this approach in a breeding program, you need to make sure that the prediction are accurate enough to identify superior crosses. And in our work, what we did was we used a retrospective analysis to evaluate the accuracy of the prediction. We used 101 crosses that had already been through the selection cycle in a breeding program, and um, for which we knew which uh, crosses had generated line that were good enough to be uh, entered in registration trial, or even had uh, been um, used to create new cultivar. And there were 22 of those superior crosses. Our main findings are um, shown in figure two in the paper where we dis display the per predicted performance of those crosses for two very important agronomic traits, maturity and yield. And because those traits are highly correlated, a promising cross is uh, a cross um, that is above the correlation line, which means that it, it is uh, it predicted to produce high yielding progeny have a given maturity. So if we look more closely at um, this plot where all the green dots represent superior crosses, you can see that 20 out of uh, the 22 uh, crosses were indeed uh, predicted to produce high yielding progeny because they are above the correlation line. Only two are below and they're very near it. So conversely, this means that almost all the crosses that had been predicted to produce below average progeny were indeed eliminated during selection. So this means that prediction are probably accurate enough to allow the breeder to identify promising crosses. So using only the prediction, the breeder could at field test only promising crosses and avoid making unproductive crosses. So in summary, uh, we think that genomic prediction would be a very good tool to help breeder optimize their resources. They could use less resources and test the same number of promising crosses, so achieve the same genetic gain. Or more interestingly, they could use the same resources, but test more promising crosses and maybe achieve a larger genetic gain. So I thank you for your interest in my work, and I wish you a nice day.